So what do you do if the weather rains on your barbecue parade? I don't think it's gonna work, do you? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do ribs with the authentic flavor, and we're gonna hack it with some hay. Before we can season the ribs, we need to remove the underlying membrane that sits at the bottom of the ribs. Wedge a knife between one of the ribs and then slowly pull off the membrane. Remember, you can always ask your butcher to do this. <laughs> Got here before me, did you? It's good. Uh, ribs, it's a cheap cut. Honour its heritage, right? I'm not a massive fan of putting loads of sauce on there because what you're tasting is the sauce. We want to tease out the deliciousness of the spare ribs, a really cheap cut. And the way to do that is with some salt and pepper, cook it low and slow at 140 for approaching three hours, and then we'll do the next stage. So, salt and pepper. ribs are in the pan. These are all the little bits of detail that you need to just get it super right. So bunch up your ribs. If they're out, that's how they cook. If you push them in, that's how it will cook. And that means that the meat's not stretched out, it's bunched up and you're gonna get like nice thick pieces of ribs. Secondly, it's in a deep pan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put tin foil over the top. What that's going to do, it's gonna allow the moisture that comes out and bounces it back down. And so there's a steaming going on, which means that the meat remains moist. Now, I know I said I don't like sauce. I was talking about Louisiana style ribs, yeah? With this, to let the, the meat shine, I want a just a little sweet glazing sauce that goes on at the end. Are you all right? You with me? <laughs> Onion. Finally dice a third of an onion. Put a tablespoon of olive oil into a saucepan and start sweating off the onion. Once it's translucent, add a tablespoon of tomato puree. Make sure you cook that off for a good three or four minutes. Deglaze the onion and tomato puree with a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. Now add two tablespoons of sriracha hot sauce. Two tablespoons of runny honey. And 50 mils of water. Allow that to cook down for between five and 10 minutes until you get a nice glazing sauce. Now the first thing that gets you is it just smells so good. Now you could eat them just like that. It'd be absolutely delicious. We've taken this very cheap piece of meat and we've already like developed it and brought it out of itself. And what's amazing about this is you've got the bones, the ribs, and they, think about your own ribs, the amount of movement that they do. So that's got to have a fair bit of marbling in there and we've just turned that marbling into flavor. It's so flipping delicious. Now it's all about like ranking it up and ranking it up and just taking it to the next level. So we've got our glazing sauce. We're gonna put a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, and then put it in the grill for another five to 10 minutes. look how juicy they are. They're gonna be completely fall off the bone and it's got a beautiful color and it's just gonna be delicious. But we want that missing element of smokiness. Follow me. Okay, right, so ribs are done. I've got my smoking station set up, which is a metal container with some hay in. Make sure you get hay that's not been treated with any chemicals. It just needs to be raw hay. That's in there. 
I'm going to pick up my ribs, they're in. The next thing you need to do is we need to light the hay, get it going, and then we're going to put a lid on. That's immediately going to starve the fire of oxygen. It will put the fire out, but the smoke will just go into this smoke chamber that we've created and envelop the ribs and give it that smoky flavor. So let's do it. good do they look like what a beautiful color they smell amazing and you can still see that they're super juicy and they're gonna fall off the bone let's get into them the meat between ribs is some of the best meat, the best tasting meat you can ever get your hands on. Oh, that is so good. Let's just get presentable. The best food in the world is peasant food anyway, right? That comes back from generations. And it was the cheap cuts that were given to cooks and they had a challenge on their hands to develop the natural flavors. And these ribs honor that vibe, yeah? You wanted it with just salt and pepper, and then a nice glazing sauce. But what's great about it is, because you left it for half an hour in the smoke, it's got that smoky barbecue vibe. Mm. I think it's a good idea for you to subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading every week again and I've got the best recipes coming at you, including amazing visits to some of the best chefs around the world. Increase the page, spread the love. Subscribe, people. See you next week. See, I'm doing a smile with the, with the rib. It signifies a, sm a smile. <laughs>